we back outside uh, getting ready to clean up some of these engine parts heads oil pickup tube the um, timing cover and the oil pan so as you can see it's not that bad but we want to clean it up uh, 799 yeah 799 heads aluminum heads uh, I'm gonna clean these up real good. Actually, I would go ahead and, cause I would go ahead and take the, the valve springs off, but um, I don't have a tool to take them off with. So, cause they're gonna get replaced. So I would like to take them off before I clean, but whatever, I'll just clean up under there around the seals and stuff when I replace the, the springs. Uh, we are gonna work with what, with what we got, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this stuff cleaned up. Uh, ain't gonna bore y'all with the cleaning process or anything. We're just gonna fade back in. Yes, sir. Fade it back in with half the process. As y'all can see, the one on the right is the one I cleaned, and the one on the left is the one that still need cleaning. Um, so it's coming out pretty good. Got all the carbon off the uh, valves and everything. So it's definitely looking a lot better. But this is what it looked like before, and that's what it looked like after. Still not done, uh, completely done with cleaning this. Um, so I'll show you all the rest of it as well. Um, I'm probably going to do maybe two more runs with it but i'm done for now because i want to get these uh these springs out so i can clean down up in there first you know i ain't no use of me wasting more time trying to clean because i can't get to those areas with these springs on here um so i'm gonna take the springs out when my little tool come in tomorrow and uh then i'll clean all down in there but y'all see it Y'all see the difference, man. Like, this one here looked just like this, or worse. Uh, all that soot built up and everything. We got all that stuff cleaned out. Now you can actually see down in there. So, there you go, man. All the gasket uh, crap cleaned up. So what I did, um, I'll tell y'all what I used on this was, um, so I used brake cleaner, oven cleaner, and uh, a maroon scotch brite pad. That's what I used to clean these up. Uh, the only thing that I used the maroon scotch brite pad on really was the gasket uh, part. Um, somebody, I found out about uh, plastic razors. So I ordered some plastic razors. Uh, I'll show y'all those when I get them in. I ordered some plastic razors to get the uh, the uh, gasket and stuff off. I can use it for other stuff too, but they, the uh, the maroon scotch bright worked re really well uh, for getting that gasket uh, material off of there. But y'all see it. I know somebody talking. I know somebody talking about me leaving the spark plugs in there, but hey man. I'm going to do me, and you do you. Spark plug's still in there. They'll come out. You know what I'm saying? I just ain't do it. Um, but anyway, yeah. This is what we got, man. I mean, I think they came out great. It ain't got to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you all this side, too. So, the comparison between that and that. Uh, I did about, man, I probably did about a good three or four cleanings on this. Um, it probably wouldn't have took as much, but I was impatient. And instead of, like, letting the uh, the oven cleaner sit and work, uh, I, I just pretty much sprayed it and then cleaned it off, like, almost immediately. Um, but, yeah, y'all see, y'all see the progress, man. You know, one, one thing at a time, man. Give me give me 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, 30 minutes there. Whatever it take, man. 
We're going to make a little bit of progress every chance we get. And we're going to get there, man. We're going to make it to the final destination, man. Trust that process, man. One part at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time. And two elbows. <laughs> Hey man, if you're here for the first time, man, and you haven't subscribed, if you've been watching for a while and you haven't subscribed, man, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop these videos, man. It's definitely appreciated and you will not be disappointed. We're gonna keep on dropping these videos, man. Any chance we get, anytime we working, we dropping. 87 SS boy, man, stay tuned. All right, so we done, we done took it in the house now, man. Um, I did not finish finish up cleaning the uh, heads yet, but that's because I got a little something in the mail today. Got this uh, uh, valve spring compressor. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Got it off Amazon. It was like $18, I believe. Uh, works pretty good as long as you know how to set it up right. Uh, as you can see, I got the valve springs off of one of the heads, um, and I went on ahead and loosened up the, uh, took the uh, valve seals uh, loose. So I just got them sitting on there, just so uh, I can keep everything intact until we get all the new parts. Um, but I will take these out and just keep them together. Um, until I get these cleaned up and everything. Uh, it's my first time doing this. Uh, struggled a little bit at the beginning, but I done figured it out now, so. And as y'all can see, I'm in the house, man. We had some bad weather and then it's hot as I don't know what in my garage. So I just put a little paper down here and I'm working, so. This is where we get with it. Like I said, this is the one that I hadn't cleaned up as well. This one has been cleaned pretty good, but still got a little more to go. And like I said, I, I didn't really want to do too much more until I can get all of this in here. Because I want to get that cleaned out real good. See, I didn't even really clean it in the inside of this one yet. Because I was like, why I go through that three, four times when I can just take the springs off and be able to clean down in there real good. But yeah, we working, man. Springs are out of there. Springs are out of there. 
So yeah, it's pretty easy, man. I'm learning, I'm learning though. I know uh, I was looking for my magnet to pull these out. I heard it was pretty, you know, easier to do it that way, but uh, I'm just using my pick and my fingers. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It ain't no right way to do nothing except the way to get it done. That's the right way. Everybody got their way of saying, oh, you did it wrong, you did it wrong. But guess what? At the end of the day, if it's done, it's done right. Bet. Let's move on to the next one. successful man this tool was successful like i said the link will be in the description for this uh it helped me out tremendously uh like i said once i figured out how to actually put this thing together it was about 17 18 dollars but last two springs are out got all the springs out now uh i'm gonna loosen up these seals that way we'll be ready for more cleaning and the new seals, new springs, and all that stuff. If you hadn't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we're dropping these videos. Man. Faded back in, so um, got all the valve seals loosened up, so we'll be ready to go. Our springs are out. Now I just gotta finish cleaning up the heads and figure out exactly what cam and springs and all that I'm going with. Order it and then we'll be able to make another move. One thing at a time, man. One day at a time, one dollar at a time, man. As long as you're making a little progress. It ain't gotta be perfect. Cause I damn sure ain't. But we gonna get it done though. Yes sir.